Uh, welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at um, a Debian distribution that I was not aware of. Now I spotted this on DistroWatch as uh, it was listed as one of the available Debian distributions. Now this particular distribution is called Rebellion Linux. Now it is um, based on unstable or SID and now uh, it appears that they used to have a stable uh, branch of the um, distribution which they've eliminated so now the only thing that they're supporting is uh, Debian SID alone as you can see up the top Rebellion Linux will now be based on Debian SID alone and if you click on that link it tells the story um, this was updated January 26 2016 uh, it was based upon Debian stable backports they used to have a synergy edition based on Debian stable backports and adrenaline which was based on SID or unstable now they've eliminated Synergy and just focusing on Adrenaline which is the the distribution that I have installed. It's based on SID or Unstable. Um, that poses a few concerns uh, such as stability, uh, how updates will affect it going forward. Uh, you really can't back uh, track on Debian. It, if you uh, install a distribution that is based upon stable, you can convert to testing uh, and you can convert to SID. If you download a distribution based on testing, you can convert to SID. You can go forward, but you cannot go backwards. It's not recommended anyway because of uh, varying dependencies you really end up with a mess uh, if for example you wanted to uh, install Rebellion based upon SID or uh, Seduction which is based upon SID if you were to install those and, and then try to backtrack to stable or testing you'd have a mess on your hands so what you see is what you get uh, if you're going to install this particular distribution uh, just keep in mind that uh, it will be based on unstable now um, the it's based on SID ironically and I'm gonna close this uh, this out um, because you can go into the website and take a look at that if you uh, choose to uh, there's lots of information on the website that's where I downloaded it um, there is a manual there is support uh, but let's get on to the nuts and bolts now this particular if I pull up uh, hard info you can see that it's based on an older kernel 3.16 which is kind of strange now if I do um, app get upgrade or app get dist upgrade uh, I'm sure that this will be changing to a more recent kernel I didn't do that because I don't want to since it is SID I don't want to mess with the stability of the system right now it is running uh, fairly uh, stable and I haven't had any issues now I've installed um, my Broadcom if you take a look at Wi-Fi you can see Broadcom is installed I install that without any issues whatsoever if you look at um, I installed NVIDIA so if you look at um, and I this is the app the menu that came with it applications places and system that's kind of the standard these days for mate um, but I installed I added to the panel this 
older uh, menu. I, I, for me, it's set up a little bit better. So let's take a look at NVIDIA and see if I can find my NVIDIA settings. And, oh, I know what it is. Hang on, guys. I'm going to... That's because NVIDIA settings is not installed. The NVIDIA drivers have been installed, but NVIDIA settings have not. And I'm going to sign on as root only because I'm not yet in the sudoers file. So apt get install NVIDIA settings. And that should give us the NVIDIA menu where we can see what where we can see what um, driver I'm running. Okay, so let's see. There it is. And I'm running 352.79, which is, that that's what it pulled in um, based on SID. That is the latest driver available, whether it's testing or unstable. And let's see. OpenGL 1.4, and we will quit that. So now, NVIDIA installed fine, Broadcom installed fine. I'm running GUVC view, no problems there, along with Kazam. No issues at all. As I mentioned, the applications, places, and system uh, menu, I added the conventional drop down menu, which I prefer. Now, as I mentioned, if I run the upgrade, it will more than likely upgrade that kernel. And if we look at what came included out of the box, for accessories, I did not install anything. So everything you see here, including Docky, um, Pluma text editor, everything was included out of the box. Education is just LibreOffice Math. Graphics, I did not install anything. It came with GIMP, Image Magic, Shotwell, Simple Scan. For Internet, I did not install anything. It came with Firefox, FileZilla, Empathy, uh, Liferea for RSS. Uh, there is uh, Rebellion support. If I click on that, it brings you to their website where you can uh, go onto the forum or send a question to the developer. And let's see. You've got remote desktop, Skype, and transmission for Office. It's LibreOffice. Sound and video, I installed GUVC View. Kazam was already there. MPV was already there. I installed OpenShot and SM Player. Everything else was pretty much already installed. Now, as you can see, they've gone with the larger icons and the larger font. Um, that's good and bad. Uh, it takes up more room. Uh, but visibility is very very good system tools I didn't install anything except system profiler and benchmark I did install that everything else came with it you've got your places system standard mate control center the um, I will say the the theming I have not touched but it, it's very it's very Mac-like. If you notice the uh, window buttons, the highlighting, it's very 
uh, OS 10 like and so um, it depends on what your preference is you would be able to change that to pretty much whatever you want through the appearance um, that is the custom theme uh, but there are a standard mate themes that are installed if you would like to change that and I'm going to leave it just the way it is so we'll close that out now if I were to continue to run the system I would eliminate that menu and move this one over to the corner and just do the drop down because as I mentioned with the large fonts this one here everything pretty much fits on the on the uh, display um, if you add too many more uh, applications of course you'll go into a an overload situation where there'll be an arrow down the bottom so you can scroll but uh, that is Rebellion uh, Debian Linux it's the adrenaline package uh, the adrenaline adrenaline version which is really the only one that they're supporting at this point in time uh, let's see as I mentioned I don't I think if I were to do the full-fledged update uh, it would change to a later kernel and so if I go into root and do app get update and then as you can see everything is based on SID and then app get upgrade uh, as you can see there are 490 megs of archives 336 megabytes of additional disk space will be used so more than likely that kernel will change to a uh, more recent kernel and uh, but again from my from my perspective there's really nothing wrong with the 3.16 that it's running now everything runs fine I don't see I don't have any issues with it at all so I'm not gonna do that upgrade uh, I'm just gonna leave it alone it's running fine I'm gonna run it for a few more days and see if I run into any issues uh, so that is it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it please rate comment and subscribe thank you for stopping by and I'll see you soon take care